Hello and welcome to the Studio Brutal video. Uh, here I'm just going to make a uh, track as quickly as possible from my Dub Techno pack. If you want to get the pack, it is in the comments below. You can get that now. Uh, so yeah, here I'm just going to really quickly make a loop um, from every every sound is made from this pack, uh, just to show you what it can do and um, uh, the sort of things that are in the pack. So yeah, what I've just done is um, is I've got a kick and trimmed it. And then I copied the track and uh, stuck in a, a bass preset from the pack. And uh, now I'm just tweaking the MIDI. Um, for something like this, you want as much space as possible. You don't want to overdo it with the MIDI notes. You want to give it a lot of space. Um, yeah, you can see in the macros, there's, uh, there's eight macros for most sounds. So you can just tweak the most important ones at the, at the front. And some of them have these pitch things that you can see they've got like, um, uh, 12 semitones, so you can just switch it on basically like that, and it will drop the um, it will drop the pitch an octave, which is quite handy, especially for sort of bass presets and stuff like that. So you can get it. Um, so you'd have to go into the piano roll and uh, and manually drop it down. And it, and uh, yeah, I'd recommend doing this anyway in um, having these these presets saved and just chucking them on every channel when you're scrolling presets. Yeah, then I'm um, I'm just cloning the track. So now I've got the kick and the bass. Uh, the bass is filling up some space that the kick isn't, but there's still plenty of space. Uh, then I've duplicated it, and now I'm just chucking in a drone, um, which I'm going to make the length of the bar and just stick it like sort of a pad. Um, um, I'm going to turn it down and um, just one in the background just to fill out uh, like a layer of sort of almost like a white noise but uh, we're tuned to the, the rest of the track as a chord um, with tons of reverb and um, yeah you can see in the um, in the macros the most important ones are there but there's, there's a whole a massive rack um, you can tweak anything you want Yeah, I'm just moving the overdrive so it's um, so it pushes the sound just on the high end and then it's turned down so it's just like a layer underneath the track. Uh, then I'm duplicating it and chucking some notes in. We'll see how it sounds. Again, this is this is going to be the chord, so I'm going to chuck in a chord preset. But I don't, um, I hardly want any notes for dub techno. You just want one or two notes and then space and delay and let um it wants as much space as possible to sort of reverb reverb around and delay around so you can hear the space so yeah basically i just duplicated the chord the the pad and now i'm just chucking in a uh, in one of the racks another one of the racks one of the uh, synth racks from the back Yeah, and tweaking the filter. There's there's a lot of filters in this one in the rack, and um, there's a resonator as well, which is uh, which is in key with the rest of the track, which is on the macros there. Yeah, here I'm just trimming it to make sure it's sort of to get to fit. I want it to be like tight and gated to start with, so as the track goes on. I can, um, I'm probably not going to sequence the whole track up in this video, but I can, uh, but, but when I do, I can, I can lift it up. I can take the filters off so it, so it swells to a big sound, but then cut it back down to like this percussive, delaying gated sound. Like with those nice, nice sharp um, filter envelopes. Yeah, and then I'm going to duplicate that and make another one, uh, like a sort of like a, a reply, I suppose, uh, something to complement it in um, in the space this isn't taking up. If you know what I mean? So yeah, so this is at the, the first dub chord is at the start of the bar, the first half of the bar, and then here I'm going to make a stab of two at the end of the bar, like short and tight and percussive. Change 
to this one. Um, once you've already got one chord set up, um, second one I think, if you add a second one, it's harder. It's harder to get it to fit, it's got to fit with the first one. I'm just going to chuck um, a couple of different ones in here, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm chucking that pitch thing in again. I'm putting it up 12 semitones so I can just jump it up an octave without touching any of the MIDI. sound from the pack. Here I'm going to try a different one. Yeah, this one's got some movement on it. It's got an LFO, I think, somewhere around. Uh, yeah, it's got a filter, which you can't see in the screen. It's up at the other end of the, the rack. It is moving. Yeah, I'm using that pitch thing again, which is uh, which is really helpful. But I advise you do on all your tracks, um, especially if you're, um, if you're if you're using presets or sounds you made before. Uh, you can just chuck them on, and um, they're really helpful. Yeah, you can see here the macros again. They're all main, uh, mainly like there's loads of echoes and filters and reverb like you'd expect in dub techno and, and the filter. The early filters as well on the operator itself are there to so you can really sort of hide the set the sound and then open it up. Something like this, I want to I want it to swell into a huge long pad eventually, and then really quickly drop it back down to like this percussive uh, stabbing synth. Uh, yeah, here I'm just gonna I'm just copying it and um, making a hat. This is the, these are racks as well. These are all in the pack. They're um, they're basically generated from noise uh, in operator. Uh, they're filtered noise, um, and they've got like uh, they've got echo and reverb and distortion and some um, overdrive as well. So you can have like these long, long effects chains, uh, uh, like sort of space echo type sounds on the hats too. There's some, uh, there's some of, there's a couple of them uh, in the pack, which is just basically like noise. It's, it's like the hats is shaped noise, but shaped into like a snare with big, um, sort of big delays and echoes and, uh, and reverbs. It's shaped in the filter envelope, I think, in operator. That's right. I'm just going to treat that hat. Same as the others, it's, all, it's got the most important things up the front on the macro, so you can just tweak it from there and trim it. Yeah, the global um, the global envelope is um, is a feature of Operator where basically it makes every single op uh, envelope on Operator a little bit longer if you turn it up or a little bit shorter if you turn it down. Um, so yeah, so that is making the filter envelope, the pitch envelope, and all the oscillators a bit longer. I mean, here it's only got the filter and oscillator on, and it's making both those envelopes um, longer at the same time to make it like a longer hi-hat. That's 
almost it for the for like the basic loop. And then I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna develop the idea to show how I build it in the track. Like opening up the sounds like I was talking about, and then um, cutting them back in, um, sharp and gated. The resonator is really good. It adds like that real um, buzzing character, like reverb character to the um, to the chords. So yeah, that that's it. That's like the basic idea. And um, yeah, obviously I will just record this out from now, and uh, I'm probably not going to sequence it out here in the video. But um, yeah, that's that's roughly the idea of the track. Uh, the big things are all at the all at the start on the macros, so you can just tweak them, or you can go through the whole the whole racks. And, um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to sequence this out now, um, but check the comments below for a link to the pack. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments below or message me directly. And yeah, have a good day. Take care. Bye.